So obviously we've chosen the world's windiest day to come and film this, but whatever. So my visa is about to expire here in South Africa, which means that we have to leave the country and our best option is Kenya. And that's awesome because Kenya is amazing, it's open, and I have family there. We're only gonna be there for a short amount of time, so it's jam-packed with awesome activities like going to Lamu, our favorite place on earth, and finding the best way to see Mount Kilimanjaro on a budget. But we have to get there first, so in this vlog, we're gonna show you what it's like to travel internationally during COVID in 2021. I can't believe we've lived here in Kalk Bay, the 22nd best street in the world apparently, and we've not filmed a video. Maybe we'll do a TikTok, check that out. I just never thought I'd lead me by It's like it never even crossed my mind That I had lost myself just booked the cheapest flight possible to Nairobi on a pretty direct route. And yeah, I'm kind of an expert at booking cheap flights, so if ever you guys wanted a tutorial on how to do that, let me know in the comments. If you do plan on traveling internationally, it's really important that you check each country's entry requirements, even if you're transiting through. So Kenya is really simple. All you need is a negative COVID test taken 96 hours before you fly, your ticket in and your ticket out because you just need proof that you're gonna leave eventually. to hit the road. Can't believe we're traveling again. It's so exciting. For a couple of full-time travelers, these two idiots, we suck at traveling. Things can never go 100% smoothly when you fly, as we've just proved. Turns out, we're not going to Kenya right away because I don't have a visa. I've been going to Kenya for 24 years now and I've always gotten my visa on arrival, but they actually changed the law two months ago. We can't board our flight, we're trying to change our tickets, and this is a disaster. At least we're stuck in Cape Town, which is an amazing city. I guess we'll be back at the airport next week, hopefully, before my visa expires, and I end up in South Africa illegally. We'll keep you updated. Because we booked through Travelstar, which is like a tour agent, we can't change directly with the airline, so I'm on the website now trying to change our flight. us here last week when we couldn't board the flight because I didn't have a visa. We went back to Cape Town, rebooked our flights, got COVID tests, Dave got a positive test, then we got more tests to make sure it wasn't a false positive. It was a false positive, yay. And at the same time we've been waiting for my visa for Kenya to come through. It's been about a week since I applied but we've still gotten no response. So we're here at the airport now, boarding closes in 30 minutes and we're just refreshing and refreshing my email to see if the flight will come through but Crossed. Fingers crossed, we don't even know if we're going to be able to board yet. Now we wait. Oh, I have an email. Oh my god. No, oh my. From Song Kick. It's an email. Take a lot, review your products. Oh my god, they're toying with my heart. Back at the place where we can cancel our ticket. One more check. No. Let me check spam. 
No, let me check. Five minutes. Okay, well, it's 1.10, no visa yet. Looks like we're going back home and we are, again, not leaving the country. actually leaving the country just in time for my before my visa runs out and I get either sent to jail or banned from South Africa so that would suck but yeah we got our COVID test results and pretty much at the same time my visa came through and we were so excited I think I literally jumped out of my seat in the car literally but yeah now we're here and we're just going to tell you a little bit about what it's like to travel internationally during COVID and what you need so first of all you obviously need a COVID test the the timing depends on the country but for Kenya for example your test has to have been taken no more than 96 hours before landing and that start time is from collection date. It's not when you get the results, it's when they take the swab. Your visa, then you need a QR code which is just simply a health screening form that you fill out online and they send you a QR code so you have to have that ready and that's it. Then you come to the airport, you show all of that, check your bags, same, same, same as, you, same as usual go through security where you just show your boarding pass. And then once you're through security, you just have to go through one more COVID screening where they just take your temperature and you fill out an exit form, standard info. And then you get to your gate and you get excited because you actually get to leave. <laughs> ha. Nairobi we're at home now all settled in and it was a really really pleasant journey so as I said we took Ethiopian Airlines which was amazing I highly recommend it the aircrafts I think they're just slightly older like the seating so you actually have more leg room which is really nice and yeah the super pleasant flight up to Addis the airport was pretty good we only had about 30 minutes and then we had a one and a half hour flight down to Nairobi which was very very smooth and then yeah you get off the plane you have to show the qr code that you have to fill out on this form before landing and make sure you do it like in the morning before your flight just because for us the qr code took a while to come through to our emails but anyways you show your qr code take your temperature go through passport control get your bags and you're out easy as that the, and uh and also obviously you have to show your covid test and they do check the date 
so make sure it's not expired by the time that you've landed. And then yeah, I highly recommend that you pay, that you pre-arrange a driver to come to get you from the airport first of all because there's like hundreds of people outside offering to take you where you want to go but you know, it's a bit safer to just know who you're going with. Uber is not functioning at those hours of the morning because we landed at about 1.30 and also because of the construction of the new highway, the roads are very, very confusing and are literally changing every day. So yeah, best to pre-book something and then enjoy your time here. So stay tuned, subscribe and get ready because we've got some epic plans for the rest of our stay here in Nairobi. See you next week.